happy Christmas everybody, hope you're all okay. Um, so today we're making stained glass biscuits, so I'm hoping you've got your um, your kits already at home. So there's just a few things we need to do before we start. So the first thing is to turn your oven on, um, get a grown up to do it if you need to. It's 160 degrees fan, 180 degrees centigrade or gas mark 4. Okay, and there's a few extra things you're going to need. So you're going to need a baking tray, which you're going to put your grease proof on. You're going to need a rolling pin, some cutters, if you've got one, a pallet knife, and something sharp-ish, sort of plastic sharp. This is actually a chopstick to make little holes in the top of your biscuits if you want them to go onto the um, Christmas tree. Okay, so if you've got your oven on and you've got everything ready, okay, so we're going to put everything in our bowl together. So first of all, we've got the butter, so everything is measured out for you. So you don't need to do any weighing or anything, it's all here for you. So I'm just going to open up the brown sugar. And I'm going to pop that in. What I meant to say before we start is try and make sure your butter is nice and soft. It just makes it a lot easier to um, to mix together. So in this packet is your flour. There's also some baking powder in there. And some mixed spice. And I've obviously I've stuck it down so well that I can't open it now. There we go. At least it won't leak. It won't leak. <laughs> That's right, Charlie. Might have to get some sizzling on that. Technical difficulties. <laughs> okay, right, I've got it open. So in here is your flour, some baking powder, and some mixed spice, which will make them nice and spicy. So the last thing to go in is your egg, and you can crack the egg. Straight in, try not to get any eggshell in there. If you do, it doesn't matter. You can just pick it out with your fingers. Okay, so I'm going to use a mixer to mix this all together into a dough. If you've not got a mixer, it doesn't matter. Just use a wooden spoon. You might need a bit of help from a grown up. But like I said, the softer your butter, the easier it will be to mix all together, particularly if you're using a wooden spoon. So I'm gonna take this now over to my mixer. And I'm going to start giving that a whisk. The chai's going to go around the other side. So I always put my hand, my arm, around the bowl. Otherwise, a load of flour will jump out all over you. And Charlie might get covered in flour. Which isn't good. <laughs> well, I'm normally covered in flour, so. Just keep mixing and mixing, or use your wooden spoon. And eventually, this will come into the dough. Just keep going. Can you go a little bit faster? in there, I think it'll be easier, so I'm just going to bring it into a dough, into a ball, okay. Right, Charlie, can you just move backwards a little bit, please? Okay, once you've got it into a ball, I'm just going to show you what I've made earlier. It should be nice and soft, like that. Right, I'm going to go back to the table and I'm going to start rolling this out. I'm just going to take half of it at a time. Okay, 
move some stuff out of the way. I'm always covered in the, I'm, not the, uh, I'm quite a messy baker, as most people will know. So, you need a little bit of extra flour just down on your table, just so that the mixture doesn't stick. Okay, and possibly a little bit of extra flour on the top. Okay, I'm going to get my rolling pin. I'm going to roll it out really carefully. Now, we don't want it too thick and we don't want it too thin. So, if I roll it, so we need it to be about the thickness of two pound coins, I'd say. Okay, right, so I've got some cutters here. So, what you need is one big cutter and one smaller cutter. They can be any shape or size that you want at all. Doesn't matter if you've not got a square to go in the square. You could use a heart, you could use a circle, whatever you've got basically. So I'm gonna cut out. Let's have a heart as well. Okay, then I'm gonna get the smaller cutter. I'm gonna push that down into the middle of the biscuit to make a hole. Okay, then you can use these extra bits up to make some more biscuits. Okay, now I'm going to use a heart just to cut into the middle of that one. Okay, so I'm going to get my tray now, I'll pop them on my tray. Now, I've given you some greaseproof paper in your um, boxes. One side of it is quite shiny, the other side is quite dull. Make sure that it's the shiny side up, okay? That way the biscuits won't stick when they're in the oven because the uh, sweets can be quite sticky. If you put them on the other side, you won't be able to get them off, they'll break. Make sure the shiny side is on the top. I'm just gonna pop my biscuits on the tray. And here's my sweets. Now you don't need to bash these up like a lot of recipes say. Unwrap your sweet, pop it in the middle. It's as simple as that. Now if you've got smaller biscuits with much smaller holes in the middle, you might need to use half a sweet. Please don't start chopping them up. Always ask a grown-up to chop one up for you because it can be quite tricky. So it's as simple as that. Okay. The only other thing I'd say is if you want to hang them on the tree, you need to make some little holes. Um, you don't have to, it's up to you. Um, so if I just show you how to make the holes, so what you need to do is just, like I said, this is um, a chopstick. I'm just going to push it in and just make a little hole on one of the sides. Okay, in fact, I'm just going to do the one of them this time. When they come out of the oven, you might need to make the hole a little bit bigger. Right, these are going to go into the oven for 15 minutes, but just keep an eye on them. Start looking at them after about 10 minutes. Um, and they start to go golden. Get them out before they go too golden, basically. So, here's some I made earlier. Just to show you how they should look. And you see I've got the little holes on the top, which are going to make a little bit bigger to thread some ribbon through. Okay, so, because you're on the shiny side of the paper, but when you get them out of the oven, make sure you leave them about 10 minutes before you try and peel them off the paper. Um, that way they'll be a lot easier. What I'm gonna do is get a palette knife, pop it under the biscuit, and they'll come up really, really easily. It's just really, really simple. Okay, don't they look great? Okay, well, I think that's about it. Oh no, hold on a minute. Who's this come in? Are those oh, for me? It's Father Christmas. For Just me? Just around this side, um, Father Christmas. Have you been good? Of course. Have you indeed? What, really? <laughs> uh, yes, you can have a biscuit if you want one, but just one, because I think Charlie might want to try one as well. Okay. Merry Christmas, everyone. Happy Christmas, everybody. Enjoy the biscuits. Just contact me if you've got any questions at all. But have a lovely Christmas. Bye.
Merry Christmas!